with the low pay we are getting paid now. You cannot support your family. Continuing coverage tonight as Tennessee rideshare drivers say a pay cut last year is making it hard to pay the bills and that's not their only problem. Good evening everybody, I'm Scott Couch. Tonight those drivers are working on a plan to bring to state lawmakers that would essentially ban out-of-state drivers from coming in here and picking up their fares. Fox 17 News' Caitlin Miller live downtown after speaking with a rideshare driver who is initiating this proposal. Yes, Scott. Well, we spoke with a driver here in Nashville who spends hours a week on this Uber app trying to pick up rides to make a living. But he says that his pay has been cut in half over the last few years. So that's why he band together with other drivers to form an organization to fight for a change and to fight for better pay. Arcangelo Wilson has been driving for Uber for years. Now he says he has to work 12 hour days to compensate for how much the pay has decreased over the last few years. From airport to downtown, it used to be 15, three years ago, $15 to $20. Now it's $7, $8. Wilson explains part of the issue is that drivers from out of state can come to Tennessee and work, which he says is oversaturating the market. But what he says makes it more unfair is that states like Alabama, Kentucky, Georgia, and Florida ban out-of-state drivers from being able to take rides from there. If I go to Kentucky or Alabama and I get a ride to take there, the only thing I can do there is food delivery. And nobody want to do food delivery because it pays less. So Wilson says you can drop a passenger off in Alabama, but then he has to cross over state line back to Tennessee to be able to pick up a new ride. Fox 17 News reached out to Republican and Democratic lawmakers about this. The spokesperson for Democratic state representatives says that they are interested in listening to what these drivers have to say. At the end of the day, they take the money back to the state. We, the people of Tennessee, are not benefiting and they are outsourcing our job. We also reached out to Uber and Lyft. Uber says Tennessee state law regulates the requirements needed to be a rideshare driver in Tennessee and adds they've seen more drivers in Nashville due to the population growth, not because Uber is incentivizing out-of-state drivers. Lyft says now drivers will make at least 70% of the weekly rider fares after external fees. Wilson says that they're working with an attorney right now to draft up a proposal to share with lawmakers. They're hoping to have this done within the next month, and then they want to have legislation. They say the goal is by the start of next session, which is in January. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Caitlin Miller, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.